and it will be Jeanne and Phil to start us off and set the tone for the evening, followed by Graham Baldwin, please. You're right. Right, good evening. Um, this is a Keith Marsden song, and it sort of harks back to last week and the armistice because it's um, it's set in post World War One England, and it's about Jack Ashton, who was what you might call a likable rogue and a teller of tall stories. Oh, the times were hard and mean, and our childhood days were lean. In the land they said was fit for Flanders heroes. It was all a seaside show where poor folk couldn't go. We just stood outside while others watched the heroes. And we only had to spend what our friend Sam Clegg would lend. There was little of Lloyd George's promised glories. But each evening down the street, by the gas lamps we would meet and listen while Jack Ashton told his stories. I we sat there and listened with our mouths open wide, though we knew in our hearts that the old devil lied. But we needed to believe in the magic he would weave, and we took a glass for old time's sake. The day Jack died Our old wise parents said that he'd a screw loose in the head And that we would daft to listen to his lies But we saw their daily grind and heard the magic in his mind And we knew who was daft and who was wise Though he nearly broke our necks playing so and his bowling with a cork he could be gory. When the evening sun went down, by the lamps we gathered round and listened while Jack Ashton told his stories. I sat there and listened with our mouths open wide, though we knew in our hearts that the old devil lied. But we needed to believe in the magic he would weave. And we took a glass for old time's sake, the day Jack died. Now that Jack's been laid to rest, if there's any justice left, he'll be telling yarns now to the Holy Ghost. I am gathered round his feet, open mouthed as we would be, sit saints and angels of the heavenly host. And he'll tell them how he saved old Moses from the waves And slew Goliath with one mighty blow By an all-forgiving Lord, listen smiling at his words As we did by the gas lamps long ago I we sat there and listened with our mouths open wide Though we knew in our hearts that the old devil to believe in the magic he would weave, and we took a glass for old time's sake, the day Jack died. Always good to hear that one. Absolutely. That's a, that's a lovely arrangement and a, good, and a great song. Thank you. Okay, it's Graham Baldwin next, and Graham will be followed by Tara. Well, hello, everybody. And um, if you guys hey, if you guys are anything like me and my, uh, my, my wife, you've probably started watching the fourth episode of The Crown. And this, no, some people shaking their heads. <laughs> anyway. This, uh, this brought to mind this incisive song from the pen of Vic Gammon, um, who um, talks about royalty. Um, it mentions, for those that don't know, it mentions a couple of people. Major General Thomas Harrison, who was a regicide, means he killed the king, and he was executed. He was hanged, drawn and quartered in October 1660 at Charing Cross. It also mentions a bloke called Thomas Paine, 
who was an English-born American political activist, philosopher, political theorist, and revolutionary. It also mentions something which maybe some of you might know or not, something called a monstrous carbuncle, which was Prince Charles's infamous depiction, description of a piece of modern architecture design. I think it was a design for the Tate Gallery extension. Anyway, here we go. I'm sure you know this one. Now Charles the second had eleven bastard children. George the third went mad. And Edward the seventh they thought was Jack the Ripper. And Edward Richard the third was as bad as Shakespeare thought he was. Victoria lay back and thought of England. Charles the first lost his head. Well, the best thing about most kings and queens of England is that most of them are dead. Singing Woo Britannia, Britannia waves the rule. Kings, queens, jacks and knaves and tyrants, cheats and fools. Now William the third was a Protestant and Dutchman. James the first was a Scot. And George the first spoke nothing else but German. What a mixed up interbred lot. And William the first was a grasping Norman bastard. Believe me, it's no lie. Well, there hasn't been an English King of England since Alt copped one in the eye. Singing. Britannia, Britannia waves the rules. Kings, queens, jacks and knaves and tyrants, cheats and fools. Now she was a well-heeled blue blood Cinderella, him Prince Charming with big ears. But he had a thing going with the ugly sister, so it ended all in tears. So arise then the ghosts of Oliver Cromwell, Wayne Harrison and Tom Paine. Won't you rid our land of this monstrous carbuncle and bring sunshine after the rain? Singing, Ooh, Britannia, Britannia waves the Kings, queens, jacks and knaves and tyrants, shoots and fools, singing Britannia, Britannia waves the rule. Kings, queens, jacks and knaves and tyrants, shoots and fools. Good one, Graham. Good history lesson there. Um, so Tara's our next singer, and Tara will be followed by Steve Suffolk, please. So um, I'm singing with Charlie today. Um, Hi, Charlie. <laughs> And we're going to try and do the Garden of Jane Deloney. So wish us luck. Here we go. The poet's voice lingers on, his words hang in the air. The ground you walk upon might as well not be there. Might as well not be there. I'll take you through my dreams Out into the darkest morning Past the blood-filled streams Into the garden of Jane Deloney Into the garden now Through the roses there Don't pluck it as you pass 
For a fire will consume your hair, and your eyes will turn to glass, and your eyes will turn to glass. In the willow shade, don't lie to hear it weep, for it's tears of golden jade. Will drown you as you sleep. Will drown you now. Jane Delaney had her dream that she never did discover. What a flow and feed the stream is the lifeblood of her lover. Is the lifeblood of her lover and the purifying beam of the sun will shine him ever and the spirit of her dream in the garden lives forever lives forever now hey darling Lovely, thank you. It's great to have a duet. Your two voices singing together. Well done, Tara and Charlie. Okay, Steve Suffitt is our next singer, and Steve will be followed by another Steve, Steve Andesol. Over to you, Steve. Okay, hello. Uh, greetings once again from New York City. Uh, I believe Tara might remember back in 1999, she's the one that told Marilyn and uh, myself about Sharp's Folk Club. Yep. Uh, she was in New York at the time, yep. and we were on our way to London, and she said be sure to visit Cecil Sharp House on a Tuesday night. And by the time we got back to New York, she already knew what song I had sung. <laughs> That's amazing. I know you rider gonna miss me when I'm gone. I know you rider gonna miss me when I'm gone. Gonna miss your loving daddy rolling around in your arms. I wish I wrote this one, but I didn't. <laughs> I wish I was a catfish swimming in the bottom of the sea. I wish I was a catfish swimming in the bottom of the sea. And my baby come a fishing, she come a fishing after me. Now you throw your arms around me like the circle around the sun. I said you throw your arms around me like the circle around the sun. And I'm gonna love you, baby, till your easy ride come. Well, I ain't got a nickel and I ain't got a lousy dime. That I ain't got a nickel and I ain't got a lousy dime. Without your love, babe, sun ain't never gonna shine. But that sun's gonna shine in my back door someday. Said that sun's gonna shine in my back door someday. And that wind from the river carry all my troubles away. This is one of these songs that could go on forever just by taking these verses that float 
from one blues song to another, so I won't do that. Just one more verse, then we'll go back to the first. Ah, uh, loving you was easy as falling off of a log. I said loving you was easy as falling off of a log. I want to be a lover. I don't want to be a dog. So I know you're right. You're gonna miss me when I'm gone. I know you're right. You're gonna miss me when I'm gone. Gonna miss your loving daddy. Rolling around in your arms. I know you are. Oh, awesome. <laughs> Lovely stuff. Thank you. Now, another Steve, Steve Andesaw, and after him, David Kidman. Ah, right. Here's a little tune on my. Oh, yes, I'm on. Here's a little tune on my pan pipes. This is uh, a tune that I learned from a Peruvian pan pipe player, who I met in Blackpool. <laughs> Absolutely not expecting that this evening, Steve. <laughs> David Kidman is next, followed by Tom Finn. Yeah, right. Uh, just realised I've been sitting with the video off for the last 20 minutes. <laughs> oh, it's one of those days. Um, you can't follow that. 
So I'll have to try. Song by Reg Muros. I've been struck by the wind coming in from the east that strips the grey river and stretches your skin. I've been choked by the engine and choked by the beast, breathing fire and pollution and pleasure and sin. I'm the cry of the gulls from St. Catherine's Dock. I'm the cry of the Smithfield fishmonger at dawn. I'm the sharp-suited broker who steals like a fox to the stock exchange floor to sell coffee and corn. My name is London Town. I'm your vision going up, I'm your nightmare coming down. I'm the Westminster fool, I'm the Pentonville clown. My name is London Town. I'm the bundle of rags in the Oxford Street doorway matted and ratted and shivering with cold. I'm the homecoming sunset that lights up the West Way. I'm the Union flag, the red, green and gold. My name is London Town. I'm your vision going up. I'm your nightmare coming down. I'm the Westminster fool. I'm the Pentonville clown. My name is London Town. I'm the Dome of St. Paul's. I'm the Regent's Park Mosque. I'm the Temple, the Arsenal, and the White Hart Lane. I'm the bomb at Victoria, the fire at King's Cross. I'm the nine o'clock dole queue, and the ten o'clock train. My name is London Town. I'm your vision going up. I'm your nightmare coming down. I'm the Westminster fool. I'm the Pentonville clown. My name is London Town. I'm the immigrant town, the city of night of carousel dreams of beauty and pain. My streets paved with gold from the bold highway meters. Dick Whittington's ghost in a no-turning lane. For my name is London Town. I'm your vision going up. I'm your nightmare going down. I'm the Whitechapel murderer doing his rounds. My name is London Town. Yes, my name is London Town. My name. <laughs> From someone sitting in London town, thank you, David. Um, lots of familiar places there. Um, yeah, lovely stuff. Okay, uh, Tom Finn's our next singer, followed by Clive. And could I just remind everyone to please put um, the name of your song in the chat for everyone to see 
Um, that's uh, useful for everyone to see during the evening. And also Liz is going to uh, compile a list of all the songs that have been performed this evening. So please do that if you haven't done it already. And um, yeah, meanwhile, over to Tom and then Clive. Okay, well, uh, today is, uh, or would have been Luke, Luke Kelly's birthday. He, if he were still alive, he would have been 80 years old today. He was born in 1940. So I'm going to sing a little song which was written as a tribute to him after he died. Um, as far as I'm aware, it was written by uh, Pete St. John, and it's a song simply called Luke's Song. <clears throat> it was in the springtime when the snow was going and the cold wind blowing that we laid him down and the people crying for a dream was dying when the lights went out in old Dublin town and this tough old city can be grey or pretty and the river Liffey can be blue or brown there's a missing face now and an empty space now when the lights go out in old Dublin town old friends had gathered some with stockings laddered some with purple cassocks some of great renown and the pipes were calling and the castles falling when the lights went out in old Dublin town and this tough old city can be grey or pretty and the river Liffey can be blue or brown there's a missing face now and an empty space now when the lights go out in old Dublin town but it's not all over for this wild old rover left a sweet store of music like a golden crown though we'll try to bear it sure it's hard to bear it when the lights go out in old Dublin town and this tough old city can be grey or pretty and the river Liffey can be blue or brown there's a missing face now and an empty space now when the lights go out in old Dublin town oh when the lights go out in old Dublin town that's it Lovely. <laughs>
<laughs> so we've had London, then Dublin. Clive, what have you got for us? After Clive, it will be one from Riggy, please. Cheshire. All right, Cheshire. Although it was collected That's somewhere huge. near Bradford. It's, it's our village farmer in Cheshire. To the market his daughter would go, not thinking that any should harm her. She'd been that way of times before. She was met by a ruffian robber that caused the young woman to stand. Your money and gold now deliver, or else your sweet life is at hand. Well, he stripped this fair damsel stark naked, and he gave her his bridle to hold. She stood there a shivering and shaking, near starving to death with the cold. But she put her left foot in the stirrup. She mounted the horse like a man. Over hedges and ditches she galloped. Try and catch me, bold rogue, if you can. Well, the bold rogue soon followed after, which caused him to puff and to blow. Thank God that he never did catch her till she came to her father's own door. Oh, daughter, dear daughter, what's happened? Oh, father, to you I will tell. I was met by a ruffian robber. Thank God he has done me no harm. Put the grey mare into the stable and spread the white sheet on the floor. She stood there accounting the money. She counted 5,000 or more. 5,000 pounds is a big fortune. Dear daughter, I'll give you five more. Ten thousand pounds is a big fortune to keep the wild wolf from the door. And now she's a lady of honor, and she in her carriage does ride with servants to wait and to pardon her and a footman to ride by her side. End. Oh. <laughs> <Good> time, <Clive>. <laughs> 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 Good story, Clive. Five thousand pounds still is a quite a big fortune. Nothing changes. Okay, Riggy's our next singer, and Riggy will be followed by one from Bob Wakeling. Okay, we're all set. Uh, you all know that I love uh, Bill Caddick's material, so here's another uh, chestnut of his that you, I hope you haven't heard too much. We were traveling north to sing and play With friends that we had never met Been working hard and didn't sleep The sky was gray and threatened wet I dreamed that I saw unicorns I dreamed I saw them wild and white their sudden beauty lit the world Black stars would light their winter night Pure as love with manes of milk They danced and pranced and cried aloud Bright as rainbows round the sun Their eyes were soft and sad and I wept for the wild in the dirty world To which this beauty now was lost And cursed the hungry mind of man Who sells the future at such cost I had was bowed, my eyes were blind But in my ears their voices rang and these few words lodged deep inside, and in my very soul they sang. Here's your chorus. We never went away. We always knew that you were here. Remember how to look for us. You'll see we were always here. I searched 
the skies to seek them out. The world was empty all around. The rain came tumbling from the skies and drowned all dreams into the ground. And when they asked me why I wept like one who for his dead love mourns, the only answer I could give, I dreamed that there were unicorns. We Lovely song by Bill Caddick. Beautiful. Good man. Great. Great. Lovely stuff, Reggie. Really unusual, actually. Okay, so Bob Wakeling is our next singer. And then I notice some hands have gone down. I have a note uh, uh, of the order the hands, hands went up in. So I'll call you in that order. Um, but please let me know if you have decided not to sing. Um, I assume that the hands have gone down because of a technical glitch, because that happens quite a lot. So um, it is Bob Wakeling followed by Mary Hogan, if Mary is still up for singing. Okay, over to you, Bob. And don't forget to unmute. I can't hear you yet, Bob. I, I'm trying to see you. Yeah, can can you? You know. that's you, we. Yeah. Right, this is. A Scottish song. <laughs> uh, this, this Clyde's Waters. It's about two not very nice mothers who mislead their offspring. Uh, the first, uh, the woman's mother pretends she's the woman and tells the man to bugger off in not quite so many words. Will he stand at the stable door and he's coming his cold like sea? And he's downing on fair market floor and it's made his heart to bleed. Get corn to my house now, my little meat to my man John. I'll await the fair market to bow before the night sets on. Oh, stay at home with me now, will you? Oh, stay at home with me. And the very best cock in all the roosts, your own supper shall be. Oh, all your props in all your roosts, I like you not to be. I'll await the fair Margaret to bow before the night sets in. If you go to Main Margaret's bow without believing me, in the deepest part of Clyde's water, drowned you shall be. All the good steeds that I ride upon cost me twice thirty pounds. I'll put trust in his swift feet to take me safe and sound. So he's ridden over the high, high hills and down yonder he 
Father rushing in the tide water would have feared 500 men. Old Roaring Tide, you both the largest strings of wondrous drum. Make me a wreck as I come back, spare me as I'm gone. And when he come to make Margaret's bow, he's twirled along the pin, saying, I wake up. May Margaret rise up and let me in. Oh, who was that that my bow door calling my Margaret's name? It's only your first love, little William, this night come to your home. So open up your gates so wide, open and let me in. Oh, me boots are full of the tides of water, I'm frozen to the skin. Oh, me barns are full of thorn now, will it? Stables full of eye, and the bones are full of gentlemen, they'll not remove to die. So then fare you well, you may Margaret, farewell adieu. I have won my mother's own cursing, coming this night to you. So he's ridden over the high, high hills and down from very dead. But the rushing in the Clyde water took Willie's hat from him. And he leaned him over his saddle bow to catch his hat again. And the rushing in the Clyde water took Willie's came from him. And he leaned him over his saddle bow to catch his hat by force. The rushing in the Clyde water took Willie from his horse. On the very hour that the young man sank into the path so deep, it's up and arose this May Margaret out of her drowsy sleep. Come here, come here, me mother dear, in a me dreary dream. I broke my lover was at her gates, but nobody let him in. Lie still, lie still, my daughter dear, lie still and take your rest. For since your lover was at her gates, it's about three quarters past. So nimbly, nimbly rose she up, went down to the river's brim, and the river that this lady called aloud and blew the wind. And the very first step that she went in, she went into her feet. And it's so alas, this lady cried, it's a water's wonder at me. And the very next step that she went in, she went into her knees. Says she, I would go further in if I the true lover could see. And the very next step that she went in, she went into her chin. And in the deepest part of Clyde's water, she's found sweet William in. Saying, you have had a cruel mother, Willie. I have had another. Now we're lying by water like sister and like brother. Another great story. Thank you, Bob, for that. And good to hear your guitar too. So now it is Mary Hogan, I assume, and Mary will be followed yep. by David Jones. Hello, everyone. Uh, I'm going to sing Shula Roon. Um, this is a song that is partly in Irish, partly in English. Uh, Shula Roon is Irish for um, go walk, my darling. Um, it's about a young woman whose lover is going to join the army and go away. Um, and she laments this, but she also supports him in doing this. Oh, I wish I was on yonder hill. Tis there I'd sit and cry my fill, till every tear would turn a mill. Shoo, 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 the room. Shoo, ga, sukki, rogi, shoo, ga, kyun. Shoo, ga, dar, sa, ga, seli, glum. I'll sell my rod, I'll sell my reel, I'll sell my only spinning wheel to buy my love a sword of steel. 
I will die in my petticoats, I'll die, then rest. I will die in my petticoats, I'll die, then red. And round the world I'll bake my bread until my parents will wish me dead. Shoo, 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 laroon. Shuka sucky rocky shuka kyun. Shuka dar saga sailly glum. And now my love is gone to France. He's gone his fortune to advance. If he e'er returns, tis but a chance. Shoo, 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 loo. Shuga sucky rocky shuga kyun. Shuga dar saga sailly glum. It's good then to my bony Lovely, Marion. Good to hear a macaronic song. Macaronic is probably the only word I have learned as a result of these sessions. So I thought <laughs> I'd use it, hopefully correctly. Okay, David Jones is our next singer. And after David, um, John Pohl, you've lost your place uh, in the blue hand queue, but you still have your place on my list, of, list on paper. So uh, David and then John. Can't hear you, David. Afraid you'll have to do your introduction all over again. There we are. How's that? Yes, that's much better. How is that, as they say in cricket? Um, I'm, I'm going to give the flying cloud a shot. It's a little beyond my abilities nowadays, but uh, uh, I, I like singing it. Um, see. <clears throat> my name is Edward Hollander, as you may understand. I was born 10 miles from Dublin town in Erin's lovely land. And when I was young and handsome, good fortune on me shone. For my parents loved me tenderly. I was their only son. And my father, he rose up one day, and with him I did go. He bound me as a butcher boy to Pearson of Wicklow. I wore the bloody apron there for three long years or more. Till I shipped on board of the Ocean Queen, belonging to Tramore. And it was on Bermuda's island I met with Captain Moore. The captain of the Flying Cloud, the pride of Baltimore. I undertook to sail with him on a slaving voyage to go to the burning shores of Africa where the sugar cane doth grow. Well, it all went well until the day we came to Africa's shore. Five hundred of them weeping slaves 
from their native land we bore. We bound them down with iron chains and made them walk below. Scarce 18 inches to a man was all they had to show. But the plague it came and the fever too, and it killed them off like flies. We laid their bodies on the deck and we hold them all aside. But sure the dead were lucky for that have to weep no more and drag the chain and feel the lash in Cuba forevermore. Then now our money, it was gone and we're to go to sea once more. And each man stayed and listened to the words of Captain Moore. There's gold and silver to be had if you with me remain. We'll hoist the pirate flag aloft and we'll scourge the Spanish main. Well, we all agreed but three young men who asked us them to land. Two of them were Boston boys and one from Newfoundland. I wish to God I'd joined those lads and gone with them ashore than to lead a cruel and reckless life in Cuba forevermore. We ran and we fought with many a ship down on the Spanish main. Left many a wife and orphan child in sorrow to remain. To none we showed no mercy, but we gave them watery graves. For the saying of our captain was, dead men tell no tales. Pursued we were by many a ship, both frigate and liner too. Until the British man of war, the Dunmore hove in view. She fired a shot across our bows as we ran before the wind. Then a chain shot cut our mainmast down and we had to fall behind. And they beat our crew to quarters as they came alongside. And soon, <coughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. They beat our crew to quarters as they came alongside. And soon across our quarter deck there ran a crimson tide. We fought till they killed our captain and twenty of our men. Then a bombshell set our ship on fire and we had to surrender then. Well, it's now to Newgate we are come bound down in iron chains for the sinking and the plundering of ships on the spanish main the jury found us guilty and we are condemned to die a young man a warning by me take and lead not such a life as I. And it's fair thee well to Dublin town, and the girl that I adore. 
I'll never kiss a pretty cheek, nor hold your hand no more. For whiskey and bad company, they've made a wretch of me. So a young man a warning by me take and shun all piracy. Wonderful stuff, David. Um, introducing that by saying, "Oh, I, I'm not really up to this anymore." It was a little bit, um, little bit of a cheat, to be perfectly honest. Um, oh, fantastic stuff. Um, okay, John Paul is our next singer, and after John, one from Kathy Dent, please. I've unmuted, but I can't see my picture. I can hear you. You must be there somewhere. Like, and I can see you. You can, you can see me. I can't see myself. <laughs> we will see you okay, John. The song is called The Robin and the Crow. One autumn morning as I was walking, bright dew was sparkling on every blade of grass. I heard a black crow murmur Farewell to summer, old man, remember, all things must pass. Up hopped the robin with his sharp little song. There's another summer coming, and life goes on. Is that so, said the crow. See the dandelion, he's <coughs> defiant in his ragged yellow splendor, spring and summer through. When autumn's harsh winds blow, he wanes and weakens so. He has a head as white as snow, old man like you. Up piped the robin with his sharp little song. There's another summer coming and life goes on. Don't you know? said the robin to the crow the dandelions white locks go flying borne aloft and far away by the swift wind they fall and fade and bury the seeds they carry where dandelions so many will bloom come spring. Off I go, said the crow. One autumn morning as I was walking, bright dew was sparkling on every blade of grass. I heard a black crow murmur, farewell to summer. Old man, remember, all things must pass. Up popped the robin with his sharp little song. There's another summer coming, and life goes on the robin and the crow Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 
Is that a new well, one, John? I've not heard you sing that before. Uh, oh, I, I wrote it about mm. um, 14 years ago. Oh, right. I've yeah. not heard it. Yeah, great. Great to hear um, self pen songs. There's always a few in an evening. So thanks for that, John. OK, um, our next singer is Cathy Dent. And after Cathy, I think it's about time we had one from John White. OK, I'm not actually going to do a song tonight. I'm going to read you a story instead. The reason is I teach infant skills to nine and ten year olds, which is an uphill struggle. And I read with them and try and get them to see the little clues. But unfortunately, this story has got a bit of a twist in the end, and I just know they won't get the humour of it, but I know you will. After hours, these are spooky stories. After hours, Mrs Chivers, landlady of the King's Head, was clearing up after the last customers had gone home for the night. She locked the doors, washed and put away the glasses and was wiping the tables when she heard a noise. Scratch, 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 scratch. It was coming from the street door. Who's there? called Mrs Chivers. Scratch, scratch. Then, to her surprise, a muffled whimper sounded on the other side of the door. Curious, Mrs Chivers unlocked the door and opened it. Outside in the dark was a black and white dog. It had no tail and it was carrying something in its mouth. Whatever are you doing here? Mrs Chivers asked kindly. Lost, are you? The dog trotted in and she had a shock. She could see through it. It was a ghost. Some people would have screamed, but Mrs Chivers was made of sterner stuff. She stared at the ghostly dog. Then the dog dropped what it had been holding at her feet. To her astonishment, she saw that it was a long, plumed, black and white tail. The dog said, my name's Bouncer. I used to live here. All right, thought Mrs Chivers. If this is a real ghost, then why should I be surprised that it can talk? Aloud, she replied, hello, Bouncer, do you want something? Yes, said the ghost. My owner was the old landlord before you came. I got run over 10 years ago, and to make things even worse, my tail was severed in the accident. Ever since then, I've had to carry the tail around with me. It makes my life as a ghost very difficult. I'd love you. I'd love to have it back in its proper place, but I can't put it on by myself. Please, will you do it for me? Mrs Chivers looked at the ghostly dog with sympathy in her eyes. Oh dear, she said, I'm sorry, Bouncer, but I'm afraid I can't. You see, it's gone 11 o'clock and I'm not allowed to retail spirits after closing time. Oh. 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 Thanks, Cathy. Okay, so John White is our next singer, and John oh. will be followed by Sheila Miller, please. Over to you, John. Okay. We had a memorable week uh, last week with our remembrance theme, and uh, we had that uh, very moving song, um, Willie McBride. And remember at the end, it uh, says how wars and suffering will come again and again and again. And it reminded me of this. A uh, very strong, similar mood of song from Ian Campbell. Uh, he and his group did a little sing around evening at a local old folks club. And they sat around having a cup of tea later and the old folks poured out their life stories to Ian. And he was so moved by it, he went home and wrote this song, the old man's song. 
At the turning of the century, I was a boy of five. Your father went to fight the Boers, never came back alive. My mother was left to bring us up, no charity she'd seek. So she washed and scrubbed and scraped along on seven, six a week. When I was 12, I left the school, went to get a job. With growing kids, my ma was glad of the extra couple of bob. I'm sure that longer school hauling would have stood me in good stead, but you can't afford refinements when you're struggling for your own brain. And when the Great War came along, I didn't hesitate. I took the royal shilling and went off to do me bit. I fought in mud and tears and blood three years or thereabouts. I copped some gas in Flanders and got in the lily out. And when the war was over and we'd finished with the Hun, we got back into cities and we thought the fighting done. We'd won the right to live in peace, but didn't have such luck, for soon we found we had to fight for the right to go to work. In 26, the general strike found me out on the streets. Though I had a wife and kids by then, and their needs I had to meet. But a brave new world was coming, and the brotherhood of man. And when the strike was over, we was back where we began. I struggled through the 30s, out of work now and then. I saw the black shirts marching and the things they did in Spain. But I brought me kids up decent and thought them wrong from right. But Hitler was the lad who came and taught them how to fight. My daughter was a land girl. She got married to a yank, and they gave me son a gong for stopping one of Rommel's tanks. He was wounded just before the end and convalesced in Rome. He married an eye-tie nurse, never bothered to come home. My daughter writes me once a month a cheerful little note about their colour telly. And the other things they've got, they've got a son, a likely lad, he's nearly 21. And they told me now they've called him up to fight in Vietnam. We're living on the pension now. It doesn't go too far. Not much to show for a life. It's been just one long bloody war. When you think of all those wasted lives, it makes you want to cry. I don't know how to change things, but by Christ we ought to try. Well sung, John. Well sung, John. John. Well sung, John. Brilliant. Powerful song, John. Deirdre. Great singing, John. You really put a lot into that one. Brilliant. Okay, Sheila is next. And after Sheila, one from Jan Ayers, please. Uh, this does kind of follow on. This is the song I was going to sing last week uh, before my technology went mad for some reason. Um, it's a short song um, written during the Great War. Um, and it's uh, it's not a soldier song. It was I'm not sure whether it really counts the music hall song or a parlour song, but um, anyway, I, it's a little sentimental, but I like it. Oh, and I have to, I need need to take a note for it, otherwise I'll end up screeching, which you certainly don't want to listen to. Uh, I've seen some beautiful flowers grow in life's garden fair. I've spent some wonderful hours lost in their fragrance rare. But I have found another wondrous beyond compare. There's a rose that grows in no man's land 
And it's wonderful to see Though it's sprayed with tears It will live for years In my garden of memory It's the one red rose The soldier knows It's the work of the master's hand In the war's great curse Stands the Red Cross nurse She's the rose of no man's land Out in the beautiful splendor Down to the trail of woe God in his mercy did send her To cheer our path below We call her Rose of Heaven We've learned to love her so There's a rose that grows In no man's land And it's wonderful to see Though it's sprayed with tears It will live for years In my garden of memory It's the one red rose The soldier knows It's the work of the master's hand In the war's great curse Stands the Red Cross nurse She's the rose of no man's land Sheila. Lovely it was, it was probably the first time I'd ever sung the whole song unaccompanied I usually only do it in music hall shows with a piano Which makes it easier there's nothing like a bit of First World War sentiment. Brilliant stuff. Okay, Jan, you're the next singer. And then it should be Severn Savage after you, but I think Severn might still be away dealing with the storm. Um, so in that case, it will be Mike Glick. So Jan and then Mike, and hopefully we'll get Severn back. Oh, hang on. I've just got a message saying that Severn is back. Okay, so it will be Jan and then Severn. Okay, um, I'm actually going to do two very short poems. One, one from last week. It's about my parents in the war. Um, they were called Meg and Ted. Meg had a bucket and a stirrup pump. Ted had a whistle and a rattle. And so these two 15 year olds did their part in a battle. Meg kept watch on the terrace lest a bomb should come to ground. And Ted was up on the foundry roof, keeping watch on the streets around. Twas fearsome and was cruel, that deepest, darkest black, pierced only by the arcing beams that traced the loud akak. The dreadful roar of aircraft, the drone of flying bomb. It took a stout and stalwart heart to sit there and watch on. For they were also heroes, our guardians of the night, who watched for bomb and gas and fire with no comfort of a light. And it's the start of the rugby season. So this is men in shorts. Oh, I do love those muscly thighs. I view them with soulful sighs. The sight of those men in shorts is enough to justify watching sport. I'm not a fan of football. In fact, never watched that at all. Rugby's more my sport because they wear tighter shorts and when they bend to enter the scrum, that fabric stretches tight across their bum. I like it when those boys get muddy. I'm not so keen on the noses bloody, but put those beefy legs in sight and I'll cheer them any old night. Oh, I do love those muscly thighs. I view them with soulful sighs. Thank you.
I've always wanted to be treated as a sex object. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, obviously we don't strictly approve of objectification, but never mind that. Um, okay, <laughs> it's Severn next, and after Severn, one from Mike Glick, please. Okay, uh, uh, I'll never be able to find the answer because uh, if it's out there blowing in the wind, I'm never going to be able to catch it. But uh, Ah, uh, I've just been <laughs> just been trace, yeah, chasing trash cans and things, but I'll take you uh, uh, in stormy weather on an American river. There, there are times when unnavigable parts of rivers like the Tennessee and such uh, they could only uh, they could only shift things down uh, the river when uh, yeah there was a flood tide only in the worst weather possible and uh, this is a you know this is a song about that it's called the Rasman song I heard it from uh, by way of Mike Seeger see uh, all you good people you should know what we poor raftsmen undergo. Although we're called to take a ride, most every time there comes a tide. On the 13th, it began to rain. Down to the raft, our hands all came. The steersman said there'll be a tide. And down the river, we must ride. The oars to make and then to swing. So go to work like anything. We worked all night there in the rain and suffered much from cold and pain. Come the morn, we turned her loose. She rode all day just like a goose. The evening tide, it was so full that for the near shore we must pull. The, uh, uh, we tried for shore, but strove in vain, and no near shore could we gain. We struck a bluff, broke off our oar, and now no way to get to shore. The wind it blew, the timber fall, we thought that it would kill us all. Some did weep and some did pray, and Big Jim White, he wished for day. Well, daylight came, we got the shore. We found some plank and fixed our oar. I went on with them until the end, but I've never been rafting again. Thank you. Wow. <laughs> They're, they're just going all night. They're drifting all night, and you know, no way to uh, control anything. So they're just, you know. Thanks, Severn. Um, good to have that a little bit of uh, working history there. Okay, so it's Mike Glick, and after Mike, someone else whose hand disappeared, but I assume he still wants to sing. Well, yeah, he does, he's just dropped out of order. So it will be Mike followed by David Diamond. Mike, are you there? I am here. Oh, I see. I was, I unmuted myself. Well, never mind. Can you see me now? Okay, well, I, uh, hopefully, as long as you can see me, it doesn't matter if I can't. Um, so I don't know, I'll try to be brief. I don't know how much uh, explanation this song will take. I assume you all know about the, it was inspired by a f several things. Uh, I assume you all know about the horrible detention of children and separation from families at our southern borders. And uh, also the plague we are undergoing of uh, evangelical 
Christian preachers. Um, and this song is partly inspired by one who wanted his uh, flock to raise him another $54 million to buy a new jet. And when they asked him why, he said, well, you know, when Jesus comes back, he won't be riding on no donkey. So, <laughs> and just parenthetically, I also re researched uh, about one part of the song that apparently in the uh, years ago, of course, there was no sanitation. And the main reason for the churches using so much incense was because people smelled. So uh, they didn't want that either. Anyway, this is called Let's Build a Wall Around Jesus. And when you learn the chorus, you're welcome to sing along. <laughs> Let's build a wall around Jesus. We don't want no immigrants here. He was a dark-skinned Jew, and I'm sure he smelled too. And I bet that he even liked queers. Let's build a wall around Jesus. I can't believe he wasn't even white. He was born in a manger, and I don't trust strangers wouldn't even let him stay one night. You know, we spent so much time in the desert underneath the broiling sun. He must have got funky as he rode on his donkey and I never saw him with a gun. He showed no respect for the Second Amendment. Heck, he even preached love for the poor. We don't want him here. He better disappear before we toss him out the door. Let's build a wall around Jesus. We don't want no immigrants here. He was a dark-skinned Jew, and I'm sure he smelled too. And I bet that he even liked queers. Let's build a wall around Jesus. I can't believe he wasn't even white. He was born in a manger, and I don't trust strangers. Wouldn't even let him stay one night. You know I got me a proper preacher. He even flies around in his own jet. I give him my money so my life stays sunny and heaven's the reward I'll get. Though I'm not living too high, I'm still getting by and I can feel good about myself. I was not born brown so I can look down on somebody else. Let's build a wall around Jesus. We don't want no immigrants here. He was a dark-skinned Jew, and I'm sure he smelled too. And I bet that he even liked queers. Let's spill a wall around Jesus. I can't believe he wasn't even white. He was born in a manger, and I don't trust strangers wouldn't even let him stay one night. Now when Jesus comes back, he won't be riding on no ass. He'll be as white as the polar snow. And everywhere he goes, he'll be going first class. There'll be servants at his beck and call. He won't have to worry about no loaves and no fishes. Eat all his meals on golden dishes. Preach the gospel of wealth. Let the poor go to hell. But he'll make an exception for me. Yes, sir. Let's build a wall around Jesus. We don't want no immigrants here. He was a dark-skinned Jew, and I'm sure he smelled too, and I bet that he even liked queers. Let's build a wall around Jesus. I can't believe he wasn't even white. He was born in a manger, and I don't trust strangers wouldn't even let him stay one night. No, I wouldn't let him stay, wouldn't let him stay, wouldn't even let him stay one night. Right, thank you for that. When you put the name of your song in the chat earlier on, I was not expecting what you came out with there. So, um, yeah. <laughs> Okay, brilliant stuff. So David Diamond, it's over to you to close the first half. We'll then have brief, please, very brief parish notices. And um, after that, we'll have a break and then we'll do it all again. Over to you, David.
It would be good if we could hear you. So that's right. I was, I was, I nearly turned my video off instead of my, I did, didn't I? Yeah. Yes, um, you did. Oh, and you can't see my beautiful, uh, beautiful background there, which, uh, in the wrecked car. Anyway, uh, this song was uh, knocked off from a short story. Uh, a science fiction short story actually in an old magazine many many years ago called Dodkin's Job and I thought it was a very good comment on everything uh, to do with politics and how the country is run and I still think so even more so I think now that we've uh, got a president we can't get rid of here and uh, a Brexit you can't get rid of there so uh, we're not doing as well as I would like, but hope springs eternal, uh, as you will see at the end of this song. <clears throat> Just a second, I have an adjustment to make, I think, yes. Right. I was seated at my desk one day, just sleeping off a nap, and orders from the boss came it made my temper snap. I stormed into his office, demanding relief. And he said he couldn't help me. It all came down from the chief. Of course. And he wasn't the man I should have known. And I hadn't the sense just to leave it alone. The bureau chief received me in his office quite large. He said I was mistaken if I thought he was in charge. The assistant secretary had signed the order sheet. And if I had a problem, that was who I had to meet. And he wasn't the man now oh, I should have known but I hadn't the heart just to leave it alone knee deep in the carpet in an office like a barn the assistant secretary said he shared my concern but he'd received orders and sure of what they meant but he wasn't going to argue with the nation's president. And he wasn't the man who oh, I should have known. But he hadn't, I hadn't the... <coughs> but I hadn't the sense just to leave it alone. Oh. How I got in the White House, I'm forbidden to tell. I stood in the Oval Office, shaking like hell. The President admitted he'd signed the bloody note, a favour to a senator, a man who'd had my vote. And he wasn't the man, oh, I should have known. Well, I hadn't the sense just to leave it alone. The senator was affable, he slapped me on the back. And though my name's David, kept calling me Jack. He wouldn't take the credit, I started to laugh. The thing was a suggestion from an intern on his staff. And he wasn't the man, no, I should have known. But I hadn't the sense just to leave it alone. I sat down with the internal lad of twenty-one. And this job in the Senate was the first that he'd done. The idea wasn't his. But he'd been inspired by a very aged janitor, a man who'd since retired. 
and he wasn't the man. Oh, I should have known, but I hadn't the sense just to leave it alone. So I took that job as janitor, and I chatter each day with senators and staffers who heed what I say. I make some suggestions about what should be done. And now you know exactly how the country is being run. Oh, yes, I'm the man. You should have known. But it's all in good hands, so just leave it alone. Thanks, David. Uh, we're having a, a good uh, bit of satire these last couple of songs. Thank you for that. Okay, it's now time for a break before we uh, descend into chit chat. Um, it is time for parish notices, so I will pause the recording. Right, okay. Um, hmm. Ooh, a sort of music hall ish song. <clears throat> One night I took my wife into a musical And ever since that blooming night it has been a downfall She sat beside the bandsman and he filled her with delight The fellow that played the trombone he stole my wife that night with his rum she ra ra rum she ra ra rum she ra ra ray the fella that played the trombone he stole me wife away he pulled that long thing in and out he made her feel so gay he really tickled her fancy with his rum she ra ra ray now she said she liked his music and would go there every week I said it would be a downfall if she didn't stop her cheek. She took no notice what I said, but went from time to time. So I stayed home and watched the kids while him and her did shine on his rum she ra ra rum she ra ra rum she ra ra ray the fella that played the trombone he stole me wife away he pulled that long thing in and out he made her feel so gay he really tickled her fancy with his rum she ra ra ray now one night i woke and found her gone with all her clothes she's gone with that bandsman to a land that no one knows but if ever i should catch them i'd break his honeymoon i'd smash his bleeding instrument if i catched him playing a tune on his Rum she ra ra rum she ra ra rum she ra ra ray the fella that played the trombone he stole me wife away he pulled that long thing in and out he made her feel so gay he really tickled her fancy with his rum she ra ra ray with his rum she ra ra rum she ra ra rum she ra ra ray the fella that played the trombone he stole me wife away he pulled that long thing in and out he made her feel so gay she really tickled her fancy with his rum she ra ra ray Thanks, Martin. Can't help thinking there was more to that than meets the eye. But anyway, 
um, yeah, great to have some music hall. Pal, it's up to you to follow that, quite possibly with something not at all like it. And after you, it will be Caroline, please. It won't be at all like it. I wonder what my trombonist son would make of that. Last week, Amanda said it would be nice if we had some more fairy stories. Well, uh, this is a song what I wrote. <clears throat> In a forest lived a flute maker working his lathe. And the flutes that he turned were the best ever made. And when he had made one, he went out in the wood and he played a pretty melody which nobody heard. Oh, when he was a young man, he cut down a tall tree and the wood sprite who lived in it said, curse it, you'll be. Your flutes will be muted, but no one will hear until there comes a lady which will love you most dear. The years were slow passing, he lived all alone. The woods were quite silent, the birds had all flown. Till one day came a fair maid, stepped over the ground. And she stopped by his cottage, for she heard a sweet sound. When she saw the flute maker come through the trees, she stepped right up to him and fell on her knees. Please forgive me, kind sir, but your tune is so fine. I will listen forever if you will be mine. He replied, do not mock me. For no one can hear the music I play is for nobody's ear. I am cursed forever, and this I will prove. And he turned his hard heart against his true love. But the maiden stood still as she heard the sweet tune. She stood day and night there beneath sun and moon, till her feet became fast as the roots of a tree, and her arms were as branches, and her hair was as leaves. When he saw that his true love had turned to a tree. He cried, this poor maiden died for love of me. Oh, wood sprite, if you hear me, please lift your cruel curse, and I'll marry this fair maid for better or worse. Said the wood sprite to the flute maker, your wish I will grant. If you'll make one last flute from this tree's finest branch, the whole world will hear the sweet music you play, and you'll live with your true love till your dying day. So he cut a small branch and he made his last flute. And the maiden returned to him and their love it was good. And she had but three fingers upon her left hand. For the fourth was his flute heard all over the land. <coughs> Beautiful, Paul. <laughs> 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 and on the theme very nicely. Another great story. Uh, thank you. Yeah, more sh more fairy stories, definitely. Okay, Caroline is our next singer, and after Caroline, it will be Gwyneth.
can't hear you, Caroline. Oh yeah, helps to unmute. Um, I don't think I've heard. I've um. Thanks, James. I don't think I sang this song here before, so I am going to have a go. Pretty Nancy of Yarmouth, you're my joy and the light. It's you that I dream of by day and by night. I ride for to tell you what we undergo. All on the salt sea where the stormy winds blow. So here's to the sailors to battle they go. Where the cannons loudly rattle and the stormy winds blow. It happened one evening just before it grew dark. Our captain came to us and showed us the mark. He showed us the mark, my boys, like Zeus in the sky. Oh, reef up your topsails, there's a storm blowing nigh. So here's to the sailors, to battle they go. Where the cannons loudly rattle and the stormy winds blow. It happened next morning, just before break of day. Our captain came to us, and this he did say. Be all of brave heart, my boys, be all of good cheer. For while we have sea room, brave boys never fear. So here's to the sailors, to battle they go. Where the cannons loudly rattle and the stormy winds blow. And oh, my dearest jewel, how we were tossed about, like an army of soldiers going for four to fight. A soldier may fight with his sword and his gun, but a soiled sailor must submit to his watery tomb. So here's to the sailors, to battle they go, where the cannons loudly rattle and the stormy winds blow. And that, thank you, Caroline. And that was Caroline, the winner of uh, the October Islington Folk Club Trad Mad competition, I believe. And did you win it before? Yes. Yeah, twice. The twice. I won it in March. Double champion. Thank you. Yeah, brilliant stuff. Thanks, thank Caroline. You. So our next singer is Gwyneth. And after Gwyneth, it will be one from Dave Harbord. Um, well, this is the Fair Maid of Islington. There was a Fair Maid of Islington, as I had many to tell, sorry. And she was going to London town, her pears and apples to sell. As she was going along the road, a thin knitted hair a spy. Oh, what shall I give Fair Maid, said he, one night with you to lie. Oh, what shall I give Fair Maid, said he, one night with you to lie. If you would lie with me one night, you must give me five pound. A match, a match, a vintner cried, and so let this go round. When he had lain with her one night, the money she did crave. Oh no, oh no, the vintner said, the devil a penny you'll have. Oh no, oh no, the vintner said, the devil a penny you'll have. This fair maid made no more ado, but to a justice went. This vintner's hired a seller of me, and will not pay the rent. 
been straight but justice for him sent and asked the reason why that he would pay this maid no rent to which he did reply that he would pay this maid no rent to which he did reply although i hired a seller of her and the possession was mine i never put anything into it but one small pipe of wine this fair maid being ripe of wit she straight replied again there lay two more butts at the cellar door why did you not roll them in there lay two more butts at the cellar door why did you not roll them in the justice told the in the plain if he a tenant be he must expect to pay the price and he could not sit rent free and when the maid her money got she poured it in her purse and clapped her hand on the cellar door and swore it was never the worse and clapped her hand on the cellar door and swore it was never the worse thanks well done, well done. <laughs> Okay. Thanks very much, Gwyneth. Good to hear you this week. Um, you didn't sing last week, so I'm glad you are part of the, this evening's entertainment. Okay, Dave Harbord is our next singer, and Dave will be followed by Kate Portal, please. Thank you. Hello, folks. This is from, from the USA. Um, I try not to sing it in a US accent, but I'll probably slip into it. And for that, I, I apologize to our friends from the USA. Anyway, it's a 1942 uh, song. Um, it was also a bit, I think, by Pete Seeger, who I learned his version. If you want higher wages, let me tell you what to do. You got to talk to the workers in the shop with you. You got to build your union, got to make it strong. And if you all stick together, well, it won't be long. You get shorter hours, better working conditions, vacations with pay, take your kids to the seashore. Of course, it ain't quite that simple, so I better explain just why you got to ride on the union train. If you wait for the boss to raise your pay, you'll all be waiting till the judgment day. You'll all be buried, gone to heaven. St. Peter will be the straw boss then. Well, you know you're underpaid, but the boss says you ain't. He speeds up the work until you're about to faint. You may be down and out, but you ain't beaten. You can pass out a leaflet and call a meeting, talk it over. Speak your mind. Decide to do something about it. Of course, the boss may persuade some poor damn fool to go to your meeting and act like a stool. But you can always tell a stool, though that's a fact. He's got a yellow streak running down his back. He doesn't have to stool. He'll always get along on what he takes out of blind men's cups. You got a union now. It's sitting pretty. Put some of the boys on the steering committee. The boss won't listen if one guy squawks, but he's got to listen if the union talks. He better. <laughs> He'll be mighty lonely one of these days. Suppose he's working you so hard, it's just outrageous. He's paying you all starvation wages. Go to the boss. The boss would yell, before I raise your pay, I'll see you all in hell. But he's puffing his big cigar, feeling mighty thick. Because he thinks he's got your union licked. And he looks out the window. What does he see? But a thousand pickets, and they all agree he's a bastard. Unfair slave driver. I bet he beats his wife. Now, folks, you come to the hardest time. The boss will try and bust your picket line. He'll call up the police, the National Guard. They tell you it was a crime to have a union card. They made rage a meeting. Get you on the head. Call every one of you a dog on red. You're unpatriotic. Well, up in Birmingham, down in, this is what they found. Down in Portland, here's what they found. Out in Selma, here's what they found. If you don't let racist policemen break you up, 
And you don't let stool pigeons break you up. You don't let right-wing fascist presidents break you up. You'll win. What I mean is take it easy, but take it. Thank you. Great stuff, Dave. You have to do that in America in an American accent, really, don't you? There's no way of avoiding it. Okay, so Kate Porto is our next performer, and after Kate, it will be one from Tom Reed. Are we ready? What's happened? Well, they're, they're waiting for us. Yep, can are you... we unmuted? Yes, you are. Oh, wonderful. Okay. Uh, I enjoyed that, Dave. Um, and um, this one is from, well, I've heard it from, uh, I learnt it from a Bob Roberts recording and um, heard a CD of uh, Jim Eldon singing this the other night. So it, um, in a different version of it. So anyway, this inspired me and there have been other songs with a similar theme. So here we go. And I'm sure you'll all be joining in at home. Cause it's stormy old weather. Wind, uh, windy old weather. Stormy old weather. When the wind blows, we'll all pull together. When we was a fishing off to the, uh, off, sorry, when we was a fishing off Haysborough Light, pulling and trawling and hauling all night in this windy old weather, stormy old weather. When the wind blows, we'll all pull together. Then up jumped the herring, the queen of the sea. She said, me old skipper, you cannot catch me in this stormy old weather. Windy old weather, when the wind blows, we'll all pull together. Then we sighted a thrasher, a slashing his tail. Come now, old skipper, and hoist up your sail in this windy old weather. Stormy old weather, when the wind blows, we'll all pull together. Then up jumps a slip sole as strong as a horse. Says me, old skipper, your way off your course in this windy old weather, stormy old weather. When the wind blows, we all pull together. Then up jumped the place who had spots on his side. Said to me, old skipper, these seas you can't ride in this windy old weather, stormy old weather. When the wind blows, we all pull together. Then along rears a conga as long as a mile. Says winds in the east, leave. he says with a smile in this windy old weather, stormy old weather. When the wind blows, we'll all pull together. I think what these fishes are saying is right. We'll haul up our gear and we'll stay for the light in this windy old weather, stormy old weather. When the wind blows, we'll all pull together. <laughs> Thanks, Kate. I enjoyed that rendition very much. Okay, um, next we have Tom Reed, and after Tom, one from Deirdre and her uh, beaten metal earrings, please. Thanks, Amanda. Okay, I couldn't think of a name for this, it's just called him. Thank you. 
Oh, brother, rain, wash o'er me from grief and pain. Restore me, in troubled fields I labor, pour down on my endeavor. Sister star, burn brightly, light up the dark to guide me all through the night. I'll follow hopes. Springs anew tomorrow. Oh, Father, time, wait for me. So far behind, I tarry. Hard is the road I journey, heavy the load I carry. O Lord of dreams. Tread lightly in my hour of need. Don't slight me. You raise me up much higher. You're all that I. Desire, oh, perfect love, come find me, cast off these chains that bind me. Deep in my soul, I hunger to be alone no longer. Oh, mother embrace me when comes my turn to face thee all of my trials be over safe Forever, all of my trials be over, safe in your arms
baritone. So, uh, somebody's to me. I don't know who it is. Um, maybe you could mute yourselves. I'm not sure what I have there. Okay. Um, our next singer is Deirdre. And after Deirdre, could we have one from Tamsin, please? Tamsin, your hand's gone down, but I assume that's a mistake by Zoom rather than you not wanting to sing. So let me know. But uh, in the meantime, over to Deirdre. The only way to, to follow one of my favorite singers is to sing something completely different. So I'm going to follow Gwyneth's uh, theme with a, a version same of the song that she was singing. A fair maid came from London town, some apples and pears to sell. An adventure met her on the way, and the truth to you I'll tell. With me, Tyre and R and Antony, sing whack the Lorelei. With me, Tyre and R and Antony, sing whack the Lorelei. Apples and pears, kind sir, she said. Oh, taste them if you please. And if there's anything else you'd like, ask it at your ease. With me, Tyre and R and Antony, sing whack the Lorelei. With me, Tyre and R and Antony, sing what the Lorelei. Oh, what do you take my money last to lie in night with me? And I will give you anything and I'll be good company. With me, Tyre and R and Antony, sing what the Lorelei. With me, Tyre and R and Antony, sing what the Lorelei. Oh, 20 pounds, kind sir, she said to lie a night with me and I will give you all I can and I'll be good company with me tire and R and Antony sing whack the Lorelei with me tire and R and Antony sing whack the Lorelei so they went back to London town and into a room they went and there he hired the bunny last but he would not pay his rent with me tired and R and Antony, sing whack the Lorelei. With his tired and R and Antony, sing whack the Lorelei. And it's oh, you are a foolish young girl for opening up your door. For not a penny you shall have, for I am very poor. With me tired and R and Antony, sing whack the Lorelei. With me tire and R and Antony, sing what the Lorelei. But sir, it doesn't bother me that you have missed my looks, for I shall have the last laugh, for I've left you with the pox. With me tire and R and Antony, sing what the Lorelei. With me tire and R and Antony, sing what the Lorelei. That lowers the tone appropriately. Deirdre, <laughs> 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 yeah, it's great seeing you singing in your workshop. It's <laughs> brilliant um, and good song as well. So, Tamsin, you're our next singer, and after Tamsin, one from Rick Polly, please. Um, hi, uh, hello. Um, my sister Rebecca and I are going to sing um, Pump Shanty, which isn't a traditional sea shanty, but was written in the style of them, I suppose. Yeah. Do yeah. uh, you want to start on my? Okay. <clears throat> they say life has its ups and downs, that really now is quite profound. I'd like to push the capstan round, but it's pump me boys before we drown. Pump, pump me boys, pump in the dry, down to hell and up to the sky. Bend your back and break your bones, we're just a thousand miles from home. The ocean we all do adore, so come on lads, let's pump some more. Don't worry if you're stiff and sore, I think we pumped this bit before. Pump me boys, pump the dry, down to hell and up to the sky. Bend your back and break your bones, we're just a thousand miles from home. 
The captain's daughter, I suppose, could be called an English rose. What would you think when I proposed the pox she gave me a dose? Pump me, boys, pump in the dry, down to hell and up to the sky. Bend your back and break your bones, we're just a thousand miles from home. This rose, well, she did prick me so, I've never felt so bad before. Thanks to this girl I did adore, I think I'll never pump no more. Pump, pump me, boys, pump me dry, down to hell and up to the sky. Bend your, your back and break your bones, we're just a thousand miles from home. I called the doctor right away to find out what he had to say. That's two pounds ten, get on your way. I'm sure the girl is in his pay. Pump me, boys, pump in the dry, down to hell and up to the sky. Bend your backs and break your bones, we're just a thousand miles from home. There's so much water down below, just how it got there, I don't know. The old man says, let's roll and go, but I think we're bound for Davy Jones. Pump, pump me, boys, pump in the dry, down to hell and up to the sky. Bend your backs and break your bones, we're just a thousand miles from home. Pump me, boys, pump the dry, down to hell and up to the sky. Bend your backs and break your bones, we're just a thousand miles from home. Music done. And welcome, Rebecca. Yeah, great to have you with us, Rebecca, and uh, great to hear you both singing together. So, Rick Polly is our next singer, and after Rick, it will be it will be one from me. I'm pleased to meet you. My name's Dan. I'm an honest working man. Now that's a tarnished badge, they tell me, but it's one I wear with pride. A fair day's work for a fair day's pay. I always live my life that way. But now I can't help thinking I was taken for a ride. All those years on the factory floor, toiling in the ceaseless roar, it made me old before me time, wrecked my hearing and my health. And when I total up the cost of what I've gained and what I've lost, I ask myself now, Dan, what's the total of your wealth? Just how much was your life worth? I live in a house I'll never own, could never get a housing loan. Bank managers and such don't rate the likes of me. Feeding three kids on a fitter's wage, I always found it hard to save. And being an honest working man don't count as equity. All those years of toil and sweat, climbing in and out of debt, I often look back on them and ask myself for what? A rented house on a grimy street, the endless fight to make ends meet. When you add it all together, it don't seem like a lot, but it's all that I got. But a man's life can't be judged alone by what he has and what he owns. It's what he loves and cares for that gives it quality. And what gives meaning to my life are my three kids and my wife. We've always stuck together, always been a family. Now my kids are rotting on the dole, holding out a beggar's bowl. I see the anger in their eyes, it cuts me to the heart. And shall I simply stand aside while they're slowly crucified? Watch all I've worked and cared for as it slowly falls apart. Well, by Christ, I can't do that. I'm pleased to meet you. My name's Dan. I'm an honest working man. A tarnished badge, they tell me, but one I wear with pride. A fair day's work for a fair day's pay. I always live my life that way. But now I can't help thinking I was taken for a ride. And though I ain't got much to spare, what I have I'm going to share. 
to give my kids and other kids some purpose, pride, and place. Those leeches grown fat on my sweat, I promise you I won't forget. When I asked them if they'd share the load, they laughed right in my face. They laughed right in my face. Never heard that. Never heard it. Thank you, Rick. Another great song. Um, I'll sing next, and after me, it will be James Eagle. Um, I was going to sing com something completely different, but I've decided we've not had nearly enough Scots language this evening, so I'm about to rectify that with a, a song by Hamish Henderson, the Freedom Come All Ye, Scotland's Socialist National Anthem, Alternative National Anthem. Rock the wind in the clear day's dawn, blows the clouds, he'll stir gaudy o'er the bay. But there's mer nor a rock wind blowing through the great glen of the world the day. It's a thought that will gar a rotten's all the rogues that gang gallus fresh and gay, tack the road and seek other loanings, for their ill ploys to sport and play. Nay, mer will the bonny callants mercy war when her braggarts cruelly crawl, nor we wins free petit and clacken mourn the ships sailing in the brimmy law. Broken families and lands we parrot, while car Scotland the brave nae mer nae mer. Black and white, yon tell of their merit, marks the vile barracks o' their maesters bear. Say, come all ye a tame wi' freedom, never heed what the hoodies croak for doom. In your house, o' oh, the bairns o' Adam, will find breed barley green painted room. When McLean meets with his friends in spring barn, all the roses and greens will turn to bloom. And the black boy beyond Nyanga thinks the bell gallows of the burghers do. Hey. Yes. Hey. 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 Okay, so James, it's over to you. And after James, one from Simon Prager. Now, I just wanted to say everyone who's on the list at the moment um, will get to sing this evening, unless somebody sings like a hundred verse ballad. Um, and so um, that's good news. And yeah, please remember to keep putting the names of your songs in the chat for Liz. Okay, over to you now, James. Right, I'm talking about having the right accent to sing a song. I haven't really got the right accent for this, but because it's from Hull, but I'll give it a go. My name is Jim Parkinson, Hull's where I'm from. Some call me a hero, some call me a bum. But I'll sing you a song, the way songs should be sung. Of them heroes who fished off of Iceland. Talk of your soldiers, your sailors so fine, your men in the steelworks, your lads down the mine. But there's many the hero who's wasted his prime, catching cod off the cold coast of Iceland. I've three fingers missing, now ain't that a shame? My left leg is gammy, that means that I'm lame. It's a small price to pay to be part of the game, catching cod off the cold coast of Iceland. 
It's bye-bye St Andrews as we head for the ground Where the cod and the haddock and them redfish are found Then it's out with the gear and you work the clock round Catching cod off the cold coast of Iceland now your wage is a gamble, so you earn all you can. There's rules to be broken, so you break every one. And you stand, and you freeze, and kid on, you're a man. Catching cod off the cold coast of Iceland. And when the trip's over, and Sinbad's ashore, you drink a few pints, and then have a few more. Then it's home to the missus, or else visit some whore, to forget about fishing off Iceland. Then came the Cod Wars, we lost every round, and the fishing was over, for we'd lost the best ground, and a cloud of despondency fell on the town, no more fishing for Cod off of Iceland. But now on the dock where the trawlers are seen, in cold glass and concrete, a brand new museum, it's called Trawling Deep Water, GBPLC. And all of me heroes are memories. Okay. Here again. Thank you, James. Good to hear that one. I don't, I'm not sure we've heard that one for in this uh, these sessions. So thank you. Any songs about the card piece? What was that, Seven? Is it, are there any songs about the cod piece? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I, think, um, I think that was the second song this evening for somebody's lost fingers, which is a bit worrying. Anyway, um, over now to Simon. And after Simon, one from Marianne, please. A piece of cod that passeth all understanding. That's what we used to talk about at school dinners. Yeah. Now 
Now that you've heard my story I'll take another shot of booze And if anyone should ask you You've heard those St. James Infirmary Blues So he's playing the guitar all the time. I can't tell. Um, but anyway, um, Okay, Marianne, you are our next singer. That was fabulous as always, Simon. Um, over to you, Marianne. And after Marianne, one from Chris. Yeah. Hi. Um, okay, I wasn't going to sing this, so I hope I remember the words. Um, it's a song from County Leitrim, and uh, it's about an American wake. In other words, the night before somebody emigrates they would all meet together. And this is a song about that. So. Sit ye down, loyal comrades, sit ye down for a while, till I spend my last hours around there in green Come fill up your glasses and we'll drink hand in hand for tomorrow I'll be leaving the shores of the No more shall I wander around Hartnett's green hill or the place I love dearest down by the old mill those green fertile valleys where of times I ran to inhale the breezes round the shores of Loch Bran. There's my mother and father, you can now hear them cry with tears bewailing toward my son your eyes but i will assist them please god if i can far away from lovely and the shores of Loch Bran. In the incoming morning, I will bid you adieu to Leitrim, Drum Shambo, and sweet Carrick too. But no matter what fortune I might make far away, my thoughts shall be with you by night and by day. My thoughts shall be with you while life's course is fun. Far away from love, 
clear and the shores of Loch Brown. Proud lovely idle little dumb, the little 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 idle little dumb, Nothing like a bit of lilting to finish that, that off after all the melancholia, lovely Marianne. Okay, so over to Chris Lamb and after Chris, one from Maureen. Okay, well, like Marianne, this isn't the song that I was going to sing, um, but sometimes some, somebody else sings a song that just inspires you to change what you were going to sing. And uh, James sang a Mike Waterson song, The Cold Coast of Iceland, about a uh, Harold Trollerman and uh, uh, losing his job and when the when the coal and the fishing in Hull uh, finished. And this is a sequel to that song written by uh, by Gary Walker um, about the same Hull Trollerman who has got a, it's out of work, he's got a family to support and uh, this is his solution to his predicament. My name is Jim Parkinson, Howells where I'm from. I've no bloody money, cause the fishing's all gone. So I spend all my time, and I know that it's wrong, nicking cod from the freezers in Iceland. I have a wife and three kids, and we all need to eat. We can't afford cake, and we can't afford meat. When it comes to good value, you know you can't. Beat nicking cod from the freezers in Iceland. I sometimes get caught, now ain't that a shame? All the coppers and judges, they all know my name. It's a small price to pay to be part of the game. Nicking cod from the freezers in Iceland. And as you might expect, I've been banned from the shop. Whenever they see me, they call for a cop. They can do what they like, but you know I won't stop nicking cod from the freezers in Iceland. Community service, I do it with ease. Suspended sentence, oh, your honour, yes, please. Before you know it, I'll be down the deep freeze, nicking cod from the freezers in Iceland. When the cod is all gone, I know I'll get the blame. There's herrings and haddock, but it's not the same with the absence of cod it's the end of the game no more cod in the freezers in iceland <laughs> We have to tell our friends that iceland is a supermarket in england can, can i ask who's ever playing the banjo to sort of like not do it while people are singing thank you thanks for that um okay uh yeah brilliant stuff chris uh there was something odd with the um i think there was a bit of a delay on some of your uh, uh some of you your um sound coming through but it actually worked quite well you'll see if you listen back <laughs> 
Okay, so our next singer is, I think, a newcomer to Sharps, um, all the way from Vancouver. We are welcoming Maureen, and Maureen will be followed by Ruri Grieg, who is a late entrant for this evening. Welcome, Maureen, and looking forward to hearing you sing. Thank you. Uh, a traditional song from a small town just outside Salford in northwest England, Collier's Laughs. Me name's Polly Parker, I come over from Worsley. Me mother and father work down the coal mine. Our family is large, we've got seven children, so I am obliged to work down the same mine. And as this is me fortune, I know you'll feel sorry that in such employment me days I must pass, but I keep up me spirits, I sing and look cheerful, although I am but a poor collier lass. By the greatest of dangers, each day I'm surrounded, I hang in the air by a rope or a chain, the mine may give in, I may be killed or wounded or perish by damp or the fire of a flame. But what would you do if it weren't for our labors? In greatest starvation, your days you would pass, for we would provide you with life's greatest blessings. So do not despise a poor collier lass. All the day long you may say we are buried, deprived of the light and the warmth of the sun. And often at night from our beds we are hurried, the water is in and barefoot we run. And though we go ragged and black are our faces, as kind and as free as the best will be found, and our hearts are more warm than your lords in high places. Although we're poor colliers that work underground. Yeah. 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 Okay. Come again. Come again. Yeah. Thank you. Indeed, thank you, Maureen. Great to hear you sing, and yeah, please do come again. So it's over to Ruri, um, who is the last on our list, um, and I suspect we might just have time for another one from John White to close the evening after Ruri, if John is willing. So I'll leave that open as an offer, and uh, in the meantime, hand over to Ruri. Okay, well, I hope you can hear me all right, because uh, I, I was uh, strictly being audience, but um, since we've had a couple of Hull songs, uh, uh, I better do, uh, I'm from the other side of the Humber, from Grimsby, and there was a letter in the Grimsby Evening Telegraph a few years ago from a, a, a lady who was writing about her father who just passed away, So, and it was a, a beautiful letter, and I, I used it and, and tried to turn it into a song. My old dad first went to sea when he was just thirteen. Bound out for the fishing grounds when first he heard the skipper scream. Open them lock gates, I'm ready for sailing. He never told us all that much about those early years but we knew the life was hard and tough you had to go no time for tears open them lock gates i'm ready for sailing then one then one day he met our mum us kids soon came along his trusty sea bag fed us all we thought our dad could do no wrong. Open them lock gates, I'm ready for sailing. Then one day, uh, he lost our mum, and he was left alone. He found the strength to carry on, 
until her thirteen kids were grown. Open them lock gates, I'm ready for sailing. And so the years soon hurried by, it seemed no time at all, till they said your fishing days are done, like a rusting hulk on the old North Pole. Open them lock gates, I'm ready for sailing. On the day he died, his hand in mine, his last trip nearly done. As he fought for breath, his mind went back to the days when he was young. Open them lock gates, I'm ready for sailing. Yes, open them lock gates, I'm ready for sailing. Lock gates. Apologies for the delay. Um, something came up on my screen and blocked my view of Zoom, and uh, I was uh, in a bit of a panic there for a minute. Um, my uh, laptop has a number of quirks. Okay, great stuff, Ruri. Thank you very much for that. Uh, I'm glad you were able to sing this evening. And um, now I'd like to hand over to our oldest resident uh, of Sharps, oldest um, uh, literally, and also I think probably one of the, the longest serving members of Sharps as well. So over to you, John White, to close the evening. And um, thank you to everybody for singing, playing, reciting, and whatever else it was you did. Um, and muting also, Libby, thank you. And um, yeah, um, over to you, John. And congratulations, Amanda, on another great evening. You're a great MC. <laughs> well, uh, our songs are usually pretty, pretty serious during the evening, so here's something, a quite a balmy song from the music hall to uh, send it off in, uh, I hope, a, a more festive kind of mood. Uh, and I think before I start, I better make apologies in this first verse to our American friends, because I'm afraid there's a rather a, a rude remark in it. Brown's a very good friend of mine. Once I went to his house to dine, some of the aristocracy were there. Every one of them thought me great, and when they saw me lick me plate, that I must be an American millionaire. The waiter came into the room with a beautiful lump of pork, and though I'd wolfed enough to feed a town, I thought I'd like a sample of the crackling and the gravy. So I loosened out me vest and said to Brown, just a little bit off the top for me, for me, just a little bit off the top for me, for me. Saw it off a yard or two, I'll tell you when to stop. But all I want is a little bit off the top. Once I made up my mind to roam, Take a trip by the briny foam. I'd never been far away from home before. Every one of the family was sorry indeed to part with me. They all have jolly, especially Mar in law. Before I went, they asked me for a lock of this silvery hair. I took it from the back and from the side. And then I asked the missus what particular bit she fancied. And she looked at me and lovingly replied uh, just a little bit off the top for me for me just a little bit off the top for me for me i'll fix it on a copper stick and use it for a mop all i want is a little bit off the top i went out in the fields one day saw a beautiful pile of hay under it I made up my mind to creep. Covered myself in hay, you know, as I was tired in half a mo, I gently started rocking myself to sleep. <clears throat> 
When I woke and found to my surprise, a couple had come to spoon. They were sitting right upon my derby curl. They didn't know that I was there. I stood it for an hour or two. Then very politely I began to yell. Just a little weight off the top for me, for me. Just a little weight off the top for me, for me. Take away the gentleman, the lady she can stop. Cause all I want is a little bit off the top. Good night, folks. Very nice. Nice. Um, yeah. 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 Thank you. Yeah. 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 Have a good night. Wonderful. Very nice. Thank you once again. Brilliant. Wonderful night. Thank you. Yeah, thank you everyone. Thanks, Livy. Thanks, Amanda. Yeah, thanks, thanks all. Thanks, thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.